the program, you're listening uh, to music from the CD Comfortably Mine, Juno Award winner and Folk Music Award winner in 2010. Pretty cool, huh? Dominic Mancuso's band, that's what it is, and he is seated next to me in studio. Nice to meet you. Hey, Ted, it's a pleasure. You're reaching into your briefcase. Uh -huh, uh -huh. your... Yeah. <laughs> what was coming out of there? Pulling out a piece. <laughs> I read that this, uh, they had a Canada Day concert back on July 5th. Canadian Day. Canadian Day. Canadian Day. Canadian Day. In Rome. In Rome, correct. Whose idea was that? Well, the brain, my, uh, the brain child of uh, Anne Summers International. Anne's been bringing classical musicians over uh, to Italy for over four decades. Mm -hmm. um, she had a vision for Canadian Day as uh, part of the Festival of Nations that the uh, Philharmonica Academia Romana has annually, and they feature five different countries at the festival. And this year, Canada was represented for the first time. Now, your family from originally from Italy? My parents are originally from Sicily. Correct. From Sicily, okay. Yep. You were born here? Born and raised in Toronto. Whereabouts? Jane Shepherd was my hood for good part, and then the rest of my the My hood. Yes. My hood. And, <laughs> they and weren't then, hoods and when then, you were that and age. Then, and then Woodbridge. Dad brought us up to Woodbridge in 77, when there was hardly any Italians up there. I lived uh, a couple of miles from Woodbridge on, hi on Highway 7 between Jane and Keel. That's really? where I was born. Wow. Remember Peary's Food Market? Yes. Yeah. That was probably one of the only retail things that was available oh, in about, for about five, ten miles. Yeah. And now it's just, uh, I mean, it's just exploded. We used to motor cross in the outback there uh, all day as kids, and it was just open land. Huh. Yeah. What is in what 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 is there where Perry's was? Perry's was. Oh, jeez, uh, tremendous amounts of strip malls and from like chapters. right like right on that spot. right on that spot. Oh, that's a good question. I'd have to because I know there's a Longos somewhere there. Yeah, there's a Longos, uh, Fortinos. It's Fortino's chapters, et cetera, et cetera. Just, right. It's just a, it mm. exploded. Okay, cool. Yeah. You, I'm sorry, you were about to say something? No, no, I just, I just had this melody in mind I thought he should sing. <laughs> what is that? It's a great hit. The one that the Italian song. Is that Gino Paradiso? The, um, no. It's, no, it's the one that was, was out that? with uh, a few years ago that every restaurant you went into. Uh, a goodbye? Something goodbye? Oh, Conte Partiro? That, I think so. Conte yeah. Partiro. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you, you haven't go? heard this. Where do you oh, want to go, Bell? Well, you <laughs> played, you played like half go? a bar. I mean, that was Well, it. no, that was called Name That Tune. We're not playing Name That Tune. Well, that's from the 50s. We're talking about Dominic. I know Dominic. So uh, all the participants <laughs> here from Canadian Day this in Rome, fun. July 5th, Correct. will be uh, reassembled Yes. Uh, for Canadian Day Revisited at uh, Lulu Lula Lounge, near Lula Lounge, yeah. on December 3rd Yes. at 8 p.m. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's fun. They're, they're exceptional classical musicians, so the first part of the show is going to be uh, uh, the classical portion of the night. Then there's an intermission, and then Anne was kind enough to, again, re-invite us to do our thing. So I'll be there with my project, featuring uh, Chende Leon on world percussion, Paco Luviano on basses, Tony Zorzi on guitars, and uh, Louis Simao on piano and accordion. You said basses. Yeah, plural. electric, acoustic, fretless, variety of instruments. They're all unique beasts. On oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And you're a guitarist? And I play singer. guitar and sing and compose and... Kind of where did these this, guys uh, the ditches. Where did this uh, musical ability of yours come from? Usually, it's somebody in the family. I, 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 I must, I must uh, admit, uh, it had to be an innate thing, because all I ever wanted to be was a hockey player, Bill. <laughs> and uh, until some guy ran a stop sign, and I, uh, what happened? I, I play the highest level of hockey and soccer in the province. I uh, was gearing up and grooming myself to play university hockey. And a guy ran a stop sign, and I uh, jackknifed him uh, with my motorcycle, fractured my seventh vertebrae wedge, two discs. I uh, had to rehab that year. My life changed. My life was sports and was fully occupied with training, practicing, and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I was going nuts. And, you know, friends of mine were in a band. 
I used to hang out with them. They were cool. They had the chicks. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up an instrument and keep myself sane during this year of rehab and just kind of immerse myself onto, onto an instrument. And then I just never looked back. I just... Could you not go back? Did you, did, you, did you do so much damage that it was not possible for no, you to go back? No, I could go back. But there was something about music that was tantalizing me in all the facets of the human condition. You know, the, the emotional, the spiritual, the physiological, and the cognitive. It was all converging into a moment. Mm -hmm. And it was the greatest drug I had ever experienced. So I, I, I pursued that. Uh, relentlessly and uh, to my parents lament I was ready uh, I was accepted to three universities on hockey scholarship uh, not scholarships but I was gonna go study phys ed and play hockey and uh, I, I turned them all down and I just said I need to pursue this a little further and I uh, had a day job and played rock and roll at night for six years and then returned to university as a mature student at York and studied music in 93 uh -huh. So how long did it take before you realized that uh, this was going to be a career? I mean, and never, I not, not, not that you wanted it to be a career, because that was probably right near the beginning, but when you realized that it could be or would be. Well, the, in the early years, it was all about <coughs> just doing it and, and being <coughs> part of uh, a <coughs> tribe and, and you know, the band against the rest of the world. Uh, and uh, the, the allure of grandeur really wasn't there. It was just a real tribal thing for me. Um, but when I fell in love with my wife, who was uh, an exceptional musician, classical pianist, Tanya Colonia, who was studying at York University, she was a double major. She was an Italian and music major, and she won a bursary to go study at the conservatory in Trento, northern Italy. Exceptional conservatory. A double major. Double major. I hate those Italian kinds of people. Italian <laughs> and music. When she left for that year to go study in Italy, I found that incredibly uh, uh, attractive yeah. to see this girl leaving me. <laughs> for something that she loved so much. And, and it, not, it, not too bright for somebody who's got the double major. Huh? Well, you know, when you're a young man, you know, you think about these things that way. It's yeah. like, well, well, she's willing to risk this relationship yeah. for her passion. And it's like, that was even more attractive. So when she went, she did me a favor. She went for 10 months and, and I couldn't stay in university. I, I closed shop for that year. I, I didn't complete my year of studies. And I went to Italy. Um with my guitar. To be with her? To be with her and, and to, to just be a traveling troubadour and just guitar voice. And I really started to find my voice when I stripped it all down to just the guitar and the voice. Um, and then when I returned back in 97 that year, because I was three and a half months traveling around Austria, Germany, and Italy, I decided I knew exactly what I had to do. I had to continue on guitar and voice. And then my solo career really started when I released my debut in 2000 co-produced by Levon Ishkani and a good friend of mine, tremendous musician, I'm sure, Bill, you know, mm -hmm. Levon. Um, and, and that's when really it all started to uh, unfold. So I knew in 97. And then was, there, was, there was Jane Bennett after that, right? Uh, no, yes. it Not was... you worked with her first. I worked, I worked with uh, um, Katerina Cardiel and Michael Syracuse in a trio called Seed. Okay. okay. We have to take a break. Mm -hmm. Bill, you need to get a watch uh, because we've got to go to Time Saver Traffic and watch. then we'll come back and uh, we'll check out the more of the life and times of one Dominic Mancuso. Well, the you need to be more cognizant of the fact that we're going, we've got these breaks at